Hello, this is Conrad with Crypto Loops. I'm just here to let you guys know about some upcoming information and some new changes that have been occurring in the Cardano space. So if you've been paying any attention to Cardano on CoinMarketCap, you might have noticed multiple numbers increasing over the last couple of weeks. Just in the last two weeks, there have been over a doubling of the price in Cardano. As of right now on February 12th, the price of Cardano is approximately 94 cents. If we go back just one day, it was at 93.08 cents. And if we go back only two weeks, it was around 36.26 cents at opening. So what we can see from this is there's been over an increase of 156% just in the last couple of weeks alone. And not to mention the market cap has increased as well. I can remember, as I'm sure many of you can, back when Cardano was in 12th in regards to market cap. But right now it's holding in at 4th, which is above Ripple's XRP, which is in 5th. And it's right under Tether, which is in 3rd. This increase in market cap has got me feeling quite positive. But again, none of this is financial advice. This is all for educational and entertainment purposes. Moving on, I wanted to talk about one of the many articles that I had read recently. This one was by Dora Garbosh. It's Our Million Dollar Baby Project Catalyst. And I just thought I'd go through this one and I'd read it for you guys. It's a really short read. So we launched Project Catalyst six months ago as a series of experiments to advance on-chain governance and accelerate community-driven innovation on Cardano. The project seeks to achieve the highest levels of community collaboration and to seed the best ideas with development funding via a community-moderated process. Community innovation, funding, value, growth. Catalyst creates powerful synergies and ultimately a self-sustaining engine of growth for Cardano's future. Each funding round has grown in its scope, level of funding, and community engagement. We already have 7,000 members on the IdeaScale Innovation Platform with 1,800 active voters. Adoption is growing by 10% every week and we've only just begun. Fund 4 will be our most accessible and ambitious round yet with our first million dollar round. That's the size of the Ada pot to fund development projects on Cardano. Proposal teams will use these funds to develop tooling, build decentralized applications, launch education and training initiatives for developers, and so much more. Every fresh contribution adds fresh value to the ecosystem. And since the community is at the core of Catalyst, 20% of treasury funds are set aside to reward and incentivize community advisors, referrers, and participating voters for their contribution. Throughout 2021, we will continue to encourage engagement with the project across the Cardano community by making it more accessible. This is why Fund3 voting will be fully integrated with the Daedalus wallet within a new registration center. In the next Daedalus release, users will be able to register and vote from the wallet. For Yoroi Lite wallet users, a browser extension provides easy registration. To participate in voting, you will need to meet a threshold currently set at 3000 ADA, a threshold set to protect, help protect the voting system from malicious attacks. To get a Cardano wallet, make sure to download Daedalus only from its official site or use the official Yoroi browser extension. In less than half a year, Project Catalyst has grown to become the world's largest decentralized autonomous organization, or DAO. It is a fulcrum of future development and sustainable innovation driven by the Cardano community for the Cardano community. This latest fund is a huge setup for the proposers, advisors, and voters collaborating already. We want to encourage everyone to become part of bringing on-chain governance to Cardano. So what excites me most about this is originally in order to vote, you had to have Daedalus Catalyst, which was its own program, but it seems they're going to be bringing that onto the Daedalus wallet as well as the Yoroi wallet, which I know many people out there are very uncomfortable with putting their seed phrases in as that can lead to possible loss of your asset. But I, for one, as well as I'm sure many, are quite happy to hear that all of it will be put into one application. And the last article I want to go over before I move on to a recent tweet by Charles is an article called Singularity Net Initiates Phase 2 of Migration to Cardano. So Singularity Net is a decentralized platform for AI or artificial intelligent applications. So they had recently held a democratic vote 
to see about switching from the Ethereum to the Cardano platform. And Dr. Ben announced the proposal to shift from Ethereum to Cardano had successfully passed after having over 90% vote in favor, which is nearly 188 million members voting in favor of the switch. But Ben states that having AGI, which is the Singularity Net dash ADA tokens, won't be replacing AGI ERC20 tokens. They will be there, as he states, to go along with it. The most Singularity Net would go into the Cardano version. And I see this as a positive for the Cardano holders and for anybody looking into Cardano, as many people are starting to see value as it's slowly being developed. And we can see through these quotes that, however, he did note that in the near term, most of Singularity Net's efforts would go into the Cardano version. It's just a technologically superior blockchain platform. We really felt this was the best way to work towards our mission of beneficial decentralized general intelligence. Singularity Net first revealed its intentions to move to Cardano in October 2020, citing speed and cost issues with the Ethereum blockchain as a motivating factor. Back then, the protocol, he said, the ambitious Ethereum 2.0 design holds promise, but the timing of the rollout of different aspects of this next generation Ethereum remains unclear, along with many of the practical particulars. So again, this is a positive for Cardano, as many people are seeing the possibilities of self-governance, of decentralization, of the lower costs of moving tokens around, as a positive that Cardano has over Ethereum. And if Cardano develops successfully into the Gogan era, having smart contracts, this could be a huge boon for Cardano. And lastly, we have a tweet from Charles Huskinson, Coming Birds. It's a tweet with a video in it. The video is approximately 25 minutes long, but I would definitely recommend giving it a listen. With this, I will have the links to the articles down below as well as the link to the tweet down below as well. He informs us that they may be able to, sooner than they had thought, pay transaction fees and native assets on Cardano. So when you use Ethereum, for example, as a blockchain, smart contract blockchain, if you're wanting to move Chainlink from one wallet to another, quite often you'll need some Ethereum in that wallet to pay pretty much the gas fees or the transaction fee. Whereas what would be nicer is being able to just move Chainlink using part of Chainlink in that transaction to pay for it. So Cardano is looking at a possible way to get that done sooner than they had expected. Charles also says that Cardano is working with some token partners as well as the previously stated Singularity Net. So we'd already gone over the article in regards to Singularity Net. So I'm curious as well as I'm sure you guys are to hear who those token partners might be. He teases that Cardano will be announcing over the next 60 to 90 days a series of infrastructure partners for off-chain infrastructure, new wallet support, as well as new liquidity announcements. So we can look forward to some interesting announcements in the next couple of months. Charles also talks about working on an app store for dApps, also known as decentralized applications. So I'm, again, quite excited to hear what's coming in the next couple of weeks and months as it sounds like there's a lot going on. Again, I would just recommend giving this a listen to. There's not very much visually to this, so if you're listening to this in the car, you can always just have that audio playing so you can hear what he is talking about. But there are many ideas that Charles and the people at Cardano are going over and working on. I'd recommend um, watching it again and think I'll stop here as I don't want to put words in Charles's mouth or mislead on anything that might be possibly coming out soon as the project heads into the Gogan area. Again, I want to thank you guys very much. This is the first video on this channel. If you guys have any input or things that should be changed, anything you want to hear about, any updates that can be done to the channel to make it better, just let me know. Down below there will be donation links if you wish to help get the channel going. We are also working on trying to get the pool started, so Loops Pool would be a great thing for us to get started and we're really working on that. 
So we'll get that started and I'll let you know when we get that up and running. Again, thank you guys very much for your time and have a great day.